Hi, I'm Helen. This is Helen Chanel. I'm just going to tell you briefly about two styles that uh, Coco Chanel used quite a bit during the two, the the time between the two wars, World War One, which ended in 1918, and World War Two, which was 1933. Let me see. 39 through 45. Well, there's a period of time in between there that the styles changed. The styles began to change with the first war. Um, the women were doing things. They were working. They were helping out and when sick men came home, etc. So she simplified the styles. If you remember, they were very fancy styles and the long things and the feathers. and So she did slacks, long skirts, pullover sweaters, things that were simple styles, white shirts, and they worked for women because women were doing things, sometimes not paying jobs, but certainly a lot of volunteer things. So anyway, the style became uh, practical. So one of the things that she kept though, that was a little fancy-ish, was the wrist handkerchief, which was really about the size of a scarf. Women liked their independence at that time, but when they dressed up in particular, they still, they're still not quite up to where we are now. And there was still, they considered themselves to be a coquette, which is, the definition is, a lady who flirts. So they had this thing, this scarf that went around the wrist, tied around the wrist, they called it a handkerchief, and, and she would flirt with it like that. Oh, sir, you flatter me. Flicker, th here's a picture of it so you can see what I'm talking about. All right, do we see this? This one here, over here. See the thing around this lady's wrist? Well, that was her wrist handkerchief. And you can see it's with a fancy dress, which is a little higher in the front than, the, than in the back, which is another sort of huge step. But anyway, that was, Coco Chanel used that quite a bit. So now we'll move to a hat. The cloche. And that started, it was invented in 1908. She did not invent it, but she started using it around 1922 through 33 uh, because before that time, even though it was invented, and it, it is a tight fitting hat with a bell shape, um, women had huge hair. They never cut their hair, they put it up in combs, or there was a Gibson girl thing with your hair went up like this. Or, you know, whoa. So you couldn't fit a hat. So Chanel at that time used giant flowers for people's heads or ribbons. Uh, but as time went on and women really didn't want to deal with all that hair, they didn't have time to, you know. So they became more independent and they cut their hair. And they had little finger waves, you know. If you, I'm sure you can picture it. Um, the short hair became very fashionable and when I say cloche, you might even think of a flapper's hat, you know, when they were doing the Charleston and all that stuff. So I can show you a picture. That and a velvet beret, you know, and here's a picture. You can see it's, it's a tight-fitting hat, and the brim makes it look kind of like a bell. They weren't all quite that low. You could get them not quite so huge. We still use those today in a way. Uh, here, I'll show you. This is one that I have on my website, and it's a rain hat. But it has the cloche idea. Now, this one you can turn up and do things with, but it's, it's still styled after the cloche. Some things just stay around. And now that is as opposed to let me just show you. Here's another hat that I've got that is goes over the head tightly, but it's not rounded. It isn't, you know, it, there's nothing about it that says it's a bell. It's a hat, and it goes with the uh, Chanel jackets that they have out, had out at that time. I don't know, it's about 19, that's a recent thing, so like 19, maybe year 2000. So anyway, that was why she had the cloche, and that was the reason for it, because women had small heads, basically, compared to what they had before. And they got more freedom. They began to go to restaurants, which women could never do before. And they rode the public transportation. Um, women are very adaptable, you know. 
And so Coco Chanel adapted still the simple lines, the simple styles for that era between the wars. It, was, it took a while to get over the war, frankly. So um, the only thing she did was after, after everything was simplified, she unsimplified it a little bit by creating lots and lots of jewelry, fake jewelry, but Chanel's fake jewelry is as fancy and costs as much as other people's real jewelry. Um, so instead of emeralds, you had green poured glass, but it makes a beautiful stone and we sell them still today. They're gorgeous. But anyway, that's, that's a story for another day. I really just wanted you to know about the cloche and the reason for it and the wrist handkerchief and kind of the reason for that because it was a sign of the times. Uh, so was the cloche. So at any rate, it's good to talk to you. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll talk to you again. Bye.